topic and also the architecture in terms of place and area and city. Okay. So um, today I have something to talk with you in terms of the Thai contemporary, in terms of architectures. So I share my screen. I think you all see my screen right now. Area and place. Area shape up the place because area was something that come up with the modernity. The area you can, you could measurement and you can calculate how many, how wide it is. So once we're talking about area, you have to think about like something that you can measure in terms of geographic shape, which is this is modern. And an area is something that come up with a two dimensional and become the three dimensional as we call a place. Area, as I mentioned to you, like we, we boundary an area called the lecture rooms. The lecture rooms mean giving the meaning that the place that you will learn in that. <clears throat> and so they're def dividing and decide the place. We should have the lecturer and the listener as a student. And we package this place at the university, at the academic place. An area and the place is related to each other because they're giving the meaning and they divide the place within and out. So in, it would be the private and out would be the public. All of the concept is come up with the modernity from the Western, but what is the space? Remember the, the, the figures that, I, that we already mentioned is about the figures and the pictures of the themes called Ladda land. This is the, the land that we have an area and mention this area at the residential area and making a place called village. And this is a modern village. And all of the element of the village is come up with the contemporary ideas. Like the, they want to represent this village as a Thai Northern village. They're mixing with the modern Thai capitals and Thai Northern. And also the body of the house, they package all of these with the element to represent some contemporary ideas. But the areas that they divide it is based on the modern thoughts they're dividing an area as the bedding room, bedroom, living rooms, kitchens. We all divide by the something that we can measure. Like we live in twelve square meters room. We have to cook our cook in 12, 20 square meter rooms. All of these can measure. But space, it come up with an area that you cannot measure. An area that you perceive by your perspectives. Your, your perspective, your, your perceptions, like the ghost. The ghost was the body that I just mentioned to all of you to discover where is the ghost happened to your life. And the ghost area is the area that you cannot calculate or cannot measure. But all of the relation from the ghost is connecting with your brain, your perspective and your memories. So all of the ghost in the modern area is pretty interesting because it concerned with the concept of the border to the our minds, like the place that dirty, the place that the dark, the place that you cannot see clearly, the place that they, that they have the history to your mind that make you scared and make you powerless. Because modernity give you a power to see everything clear, to make everything beautiful and clean. So all of this is the ghost area in the modern, which is cannot calculate, and the space still exists in the modern. But it's not the same thing, right? And all of this, I try to make you understand by the concept of the Foucault, the Michel Foucault giving you the power and knowledge. You, the power what come up with the knowledge from the institutions, like the university, the school, that making you the modern man, to making you live in this social system. So that's why we have the same goals, because we are hunting we have the same structure to our body, to our minds. Like we have to wake up to study, we have to wear formal, we have to live in this money, money, capital world. So that's why we all be washed. Like we are living in the present. Our life, not our life, because we defining everything already. We live in, in the world like the present because we are be washed. But Foucault try to try to lead us to understand we are be washed as terms of knowledge. If we are raised in the jungle, we never know that we are the human who have to live, live, uh, live belonging to money, we belonging to other things. We never thought that we have to wear formal. We never thought that we have to love a girl. We maybe we love the chicken. 
maybe we have sacred animal, right? Because we don't have any kind of social structure. But the social structure come up with the power and knowledge in the institutions and make us as an agency to this structure. So this kind of the concept that Foucault try to lead us uh, to understand. And this concept is come up in 70s in French. So that's why that make that make you understand like this concept is come up in the period of the Cold War, in the period of the whole world protesting for the equality, for the equality of their life and talking about the human rights by against the structure that giving you be washed, right? And this is the modern city from Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier tried to make the city equally by people in the middle class have the equally life, but not equality because you have to buy. And once you have to buy, you have money more, you stay in the upper, upper level of the building, upper level of the social hierarchy for sure. But once you have don't have money, you cannot afford even the lower class. You cannot afford to live in the city. So once you cannot afford to live in the city, you have to live in the other provide other province or other area, which is like cheap enough to that you can survive your life. And that's why they're making the utopia from the the package, the package of the modern architecture, which is like the modern architecture not mentioned, not intention to make the lifestyle more, more like more operations, more hierarchy. But once the modern come up with the capitals, why the capitals and the modern make people not equally and not make the world's equality. And this is the world we are living right now. We, we're dividing the public sphere and the private sphere to divide to divide it for two types of area. But what about the semi? What about the semi-private? What about the area that clay? I think Mark mentions about the gray area, which is interesting because this area is kind of the space that people like us see that this is the space of, of in the area, which is we feel to not be washed. And they allow yeah. us to do something that illegal or something that uh, untold. And once the structure from the government make us to understand the public area, public places, public sphere, and public space, it come to public mind. Because if we are living together, like more than two people, you will have to have the public mind. You will care for each other. And that is come up to the structure, through the area, through the body, through the mind as well. Some people like, they never do something bad, even no one would be washed because the structure was come up to their mind, right? Even like, okay, you cannot smoke in the public area. Once you you have the public area, you, once you have the smoking area, you can smoke. But if you, come to your house and you have that structure, you will not smoke even in your own property because it's not smoking area. Or sometimes like you believe of something like uh, relations, like you cannot uh, speaking lie to the others, but once you're speaking lie to the people in the in the family and it's, it's allowed to you to do that because like you are not strong enough and that religious structure didn't come to your mind, it's come to your appearance. You be a liar, but not liar in the public, you liar in the family sometimes. And this, and this, we are right now, we are living in the Thailand, and this is from the capture of the Thai national music video, which is we all watch in eight o'clock and six o'clock in the evening. They package the public apparent to us. This is all the good pictures of the good citizenship of us. I think four of us, five of us, not belonging to this picture at all because I am not the good lecturer. Not just I'm not good in the good, but I'm not good because I'm not good in the pictures of good things, right? And you all are maybe not good student in the picture of the good student in the modernity ways, right? You don't have, you have not to raise your hair long because you are a male. You, can, you cannot wear the jacket or the t-shirt to the classroom, all of the package is come up with the straight old type, but we are not bad in the same definition of learning, right? But the definition of the, the, the appearance, we look bad because we are be not belonging to the main structure or the main discord on this city. 
And all of this is so related to very famous novel from George Orwell in we call 1984, which is was write, uh, written in the 1945, which is George Orwell tried to lead us uh, to understand this society could happen in 1984 if we think of the structuralism too much and the structuralism from the social was construct art. We, we will never be equally. We will never see the diversity of our life. And we were all controlled by the big brothers who control the system. And it was packaged to the Apple Macintosh commercial in 1984, which is so fun if you can search on the internet. Like, they sell computers, but they packaging in terms of the structural world from the short over in 1984. And if we're talking about the architecture, the architecture tried to negotiate with the modern very long time. In 60, we have the new books called Complexity and Contradiction in Architecture, which is, was written by this guy, Robert Venturi. Robert Venturi on the left side, giving us the new idea of late is more, which is try to against the concept of the modern called late is more from, local, uh, from Ms. Vandero. Ms. Vandero is the one who established the Bauhaus school, and he had to move from from Germany after World War II because Nazi was trying to destroy the Bauhaus, was the head of the people who were thinking of the modern world. He had to come to the Americans and and giving us the famous discord called Let Is More, but Robert Maturi giving us the new thing called Let Is More because as you can see, the left-hand side is the building that Miss Manuel was built is the Farnsworth's house in Illinois. And all of his strategy will make this kind of space, even the museum, even the National Gallery, even the exhibition hall, is the same space with the same space as the house. So I think they have the neutral style and let it more, but more for what, right? They, they have no meanings of that space. Robert really tried to make us to understand like the house should represent the character of the people who are living in. So he made up the new thing and making the house for his mother called Wenna House. Wenna House is the house that he tried to keep the idea of the user, the idea of the character of people who live in, the sense of house back to the house in the modern period. And he made the book called Learning from Las Vegas that made us to understand all the building. Like in the modern, the modern building is have no communication. The, the building is so clean. So once you want to open your own business, like you want to open your own donut house, you have to put the donut house, the donut figures on the architecture. You have to build a very big billboard to making people to understand this is the donut house. So the building kind of like the monument, they have no meaning on the building <clears throat> in the modern because uh, Robert Venturi and his wife, uh, uh, Bobby Brown, they too travel along Las Vegas and they see the building along the street called Route 66, right? The, Route 66 is the, the main route connect from the Las Vegas to the uh, Chicago. This route, along the route, they have many buildings like uh, diners and all of the building is modern, but the modern never deliver the meaning. So they have many plates many billboard and many uh, graphic on the building. So they just thought like this building, the dark building is more powerful, more meaningful than the modern house because this dark house was built from the farmers and this dark house is never lie because they packed it with the form of the dark, but inside they still, they sell something that, that from the dark products. Compare with the building from the modern, it's kind of like the decorating shade, but the duck had the had the meaningful inside of the duck and also the outer. They try the the architecture deliver the meaning, so they so the Robbie Bow and Robert Venturi just giving us through the books called Learning from Life that that the building are ducks or the decorating shades. That is the fight from the modern and postmodern in the period of 60. And the same end is go deeper than that because the meaning 
was we we deconstruction the meaning from this kind of the the understand of the signification the signification dividing from the signifier and signifying the signifier is the the object things and signify is the concept we cannot understand thing by the by without the, the combination of two things and that make the architecture back to find the meaning to the to the architectures we call semiotics. Semiotic of the architecture is come up from the signification to to the to the deliver. They deliver the meaning by two ways. The first one is denotation, is about like the straight definition and connotation. Connotation is hidden hidden meanings, and hidden meaning make architecture semiotic. Sanya make semiotic in architecture in three types. The first type is words. What once you want to make your building, your architecture, victory, you will find the words that represent the victory to make your building means victory. From the play that I just show you, the words mean you put the figures, the wording to represent something. Once you make the building to represent victory, you will find the figures that represent victory from the columns. This is the Nielsen column and Nielsen column represent the victory, but before they represent the victory, they bring out the Greek, the Doric column, and the Greek column represent the imperial, imperial at the stage to point out at the victories in the colonial era, right? So once you was uh, organized our nation by the colonization, the colonized come with the imperial stuff. So this column represent the victory in colonial period and the colonial period represent the victory. So that's why the modern era use this stuff, represent the victory, the Doric column to represent the victory. Once you want to decide something like, maybe you want to decide the burgers, the burgers hound, you will figure, you will find the figures of burger to make you buy your, your hound, your, your, your shop. This is the word, connotations. And the connotations were more than that, the syntax. Syntax means where you're going, the system, like the house was was making you the sixth wall, like the four wall ceiling and the and the ground. And once you want to make to to do to refine things, you will put the thing divide for each other. You will make the flexible syntax, like you will put the wall from each other, you put the ceiling on, and this is the 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 way that Michael Grave tried to defining the new meaning of the house by put the syntax on, but they still are sharing the same structure. But you put the the the, the syntax away, like like the the wall still the wall, but the wall is not located in the same area, and the ceiling was put it on. You just deconstruction the area, but try to redefine the meaning of the house as well at the connotation in the syntax way, syntax way. And the last one is analogy and metaphor. Analogy means like you put something as your inspiration and you conceptualize the form and then make the form as the analogies. Like you want to make your buildings flow, flow like what? Like a fish. So you will conceptualize the fish body as the curvy form by explore and, and uh, experiment the, the forms develop the form from the curvy and then use that curvy form as your building. That's analogy, upama, uh, here. And another one is upama, upama, metaphor. Once you want to, to make the building meaningful, like the opera house in, in Sydney, you just make the shape of the slide of the orange to making the form of the buildings like the organic form. And that is the concept from Yuan Uso, which is you want to make the Sydney Opera House from the from the sliding of the orange. But once you you metaphor the forms, many people just thought like it's like the dinosaur having sex, like they have the group sex, like the lower right picture. But this is a metaphor. You 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 related some figures and try to making the shape and form. It's different from analogy because analogy like you have the same the same process, right? But metaphor you can catch anything and try to refer it to your building as well. And this is the contemporary design in the architecture world. 
in Thailand as well. This is a famous architect in Thailand. The first one is Chum Sai Na Ayutthaya, Dr. Sumer Chum Sai Ayutthaya. Sumer Chum Sai Ayutthaya is the famous architect in Thai contemporary design. He designed this bank, and we call this bank as the Bank of Asia, and they have the nickname called the Robot Building, the Kunyon, which is located on the uh, Bangkok, maybe in Saturn, I guess, right? And this building was metaphor, the building of the robot. Why they use the body of the ro robot to represent the Bank of Asia? Because as you can see, like this building was built in 1986. And in the 80s, we're talking about like the new world, like we coming of this, the 2000s and the technologies was beyond. So robot is the body that represents the, the technology. So do, as you can see, this robot is very old, right? It's more like the Star Wars, the Star Trek, first generations of the Star Trek and the Star Wars robot. And Dr. Chumsai will use the body of the robot as the metaphor to make this kind of building for Bank of Asia in Bangkok. And another guy, which is we went to his architecture already. Ajan uh, Ong Ah Satapan. Ong Ah Satapan was a postmodern movement and contemporary architecture. And he made the big mixed use hotel and Soviet hotel called Tuk Chang Elephant Building. And this elephant building is very metaphoric from the body of the of the elephant and elephant represent the Thai nations. So that's why he used the body of elephant to represent this, the era of Thailand. We are the, the new wave of the economy. We were racing so fast in the 90s, but after ni 1997, we had the hamburger crisis and we went down a lot, right? And this place that we went, the Tamarind village, which is one of his work on art, Satapan work. We went there and we can, we feel like we, this area was metaphor, the a concept of the local house to making a core to make, to put the walkway from Wat Gwen to make the walkway. And they put many elements from Western, like Italian and also like the wood, single house, and everything mixed to make the, the village more cozy in the building. And one of his work is one demand. As you can see, like, he tried to mix all of the contemporary stuff based on the last guy. And this, this new plaza of, of, of the urban area in Chiang Mai in one demand, it was mixture from Italian and Thai cultures to mix and make the new landmark of Chiang Mai as well. And speaking of metaphor and semiotic in architecture, in our school have many semiotic stuff like Ambera Plaza, that they that he met the for the body of the Amara through the plaza. So we call this the Amara Plaza from the shape. And why they use the Amara to represent Chiang Mai? Because this kind of Amara is what from the traditional Amara from San Kampan, right? So they so they just graphically conceptualize the body of the the structure of the Amara and making the Amara Plaza in our school. And also like the entrance, the 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 sub entrance. It was conceptualized from the from the Fakmu logo in in the early logo. This logo is was the first logo of our school, and it was metaphor from the pencil. So that's why we call sumpatu sumpaka because it was entrance for the body of the of the pen. And we have many semiotic in our school, and this one, as you can see, like we have the tall columns in front of the body, in front of the school. And this column was made the 10th column, the 10th column in three years ago, because it represents the King Ramas. When the King Rama 9 was gone, they have a new King Rama 10. So that's why we have to build up the new column to represent the King Rama in front of the, our building. And this is the of the architecture. And this is a contemporary type design. And also Roof Museum, which is like, I think Roof Museum is very contemporary. They preserve the old building and they're making the new one called the new glasses roof body in in between the roof guide, the roof plaza. And this roof and this 
pyramid, classic pyramid, the pyramid of Louvre, is what designed designed by IMP, which is he tried to make the new thing with without the body of the uh, imperialism. He used the glasses by binding the proportion of the building and making the new glasses pyramid to make to make the new thing without the contradiction with the old thing and make the old thing preciously and make the new thing was translucent. You can see things through the glasses and put all of the things behind the lower part as the section that I show you. And this represents something that JC was used for Rockefeller. Rockefeller, this was the record company from JC. And once he used he used this type, it's not it's not a pyramid, but it represents the diamond. And it's more like the pyramid things. And that's why he took a shot from the Apeshis music video in this area, because this building represents something that he wants to speak on his music video. So all of this connection, I think we are living in the connection of the design world. We have to understand the period of time, the product that we use and the area that affect us through the film. And I think that's it for today. And don't forget that next Monday, next Monday, you have to send me the themes and we will like have the presentation one by one. You open your own themes and then you we discussion about it 10 minutes and then moving on to another member. But don't forget, we make the street theme. Mm -hmm. We make the street theme that, that, that means you just go to the real place, collecting, editing to make us to understand the story behind the temporary architectures. That's it. You don't have to make the plot you don't have to make the orders, the actors, anything. Just go to the real players, collecting the real thing at the street theme, and come up with the storyboard, and then send me to next, ne ne no, no, not next Monday, but next Tuesday. And that's it for the first half of Thai contemporary art and architecture class. I hope you guys enjoy the class and meet you for the final class for, for not final but the first half the first half oh, of the uh, mm -hmm. in next tuesday that's it okay you. thank you everyone see thank you guys you. next class next tuesday bye thank you bye bye thank you bye bye thank you.